Evening guys, I hope you're well. I know that none of you were able to join tonight, but I still just want to go through what I was going to go through tonight, and that was introducing you to your POE. So with this POE, it is quite different from previous ones that you have done, in that your POE is going to be submitted digitally. And what I mean by that is you guys are not going to be focused purely on the submission through SafeAssign. You're still going to write everything in Word and submit it on SafeAssign. But the way that this POE gets marked and the way that I look at it is through your digital submission in the form of a blog. So what this means is, is that every element that you are going to be creating for this portfolio gets submitted on that blog and then I mark um, on that digital submission. And you guys get a rubric back with all your marks and how you were marked but it's not about a traditional um, ticking and crossing on a document portfolio. Now, I'm not going through the whole portfolio tonight. This is just me wanting to set you up for what I need you guys for the next collab. And what that is, is that you are going to be producing two main stories. One being a written story and the other being a multimedia story. And you are writing these stories and producing these stories for a publication called Essay Voice. That is our JIRN module um, uh, publication. And this publication is aimed at people that are 18 to 55 years old, at 35 years old. They are a younger generation. They are looking at stuff from the perspective of you know, depth and understanding and, you know, are more hip and current and up to date with, you know, social issues within society. So what you are going to be doing for the POE and what I need you guys to do for the next collab is I need you to think about story ideas that would work for either community, humanitarian or activism um, stories. So the idea here is that you will choose to write one story for one particular genre, and then you will go and write a story, uh, not, sorry, not write a story, sorry, you'd you're going to produce multimedia for the other genre. So it's quite interesting because you're gonna be getting multiple perspectives for this particular learning unit. You are going to be working through the content in um, multiple different um, mediums, as well as producing content that would be fit for print. So what's really important for this particular portfolio is that you need to think about what kind of scenario would work for the different stories. So, you know, we are always very quick to, you know, just think of an idea, quickly jot it down, and then that's it, that's the route we go and we stick with it. But I want you guys to approach this a bit differently. I want you to, for our next collab or by our next collab, I want you to think about what kind of uh, stories you would be interested in writing. Now, the idea here is that you are writing with a South African audience in mind, but with the knowledge that there is international reach. So for this, um, POE, you're not only focusing on South African stories uh, like we have had previously, but you are needing to think about our international audience as well because you're producing content for a digital uh, platform. So what I want you guys to do and what I want you to think about is when you are breaking down these stories and, and trying to establish what you think you might want to uh, write and produce for these stories. I want you to think of your story angles. I want you to think about different approaches that you could take that um, would mean, you know, just trying to think outside of the box a little bit and not just taking things at face value and uh, just immediately writing. I want you to brainstorm. I want you to think about what you are um you know, topics that interest you, uh, different uh, a, a different approaches you could possibly take that's going to, you know, really produce something that is uh, different and interesting. 
and I don't want you to just um, approach this from uh, the very obvious angle. And the topics, because it is for activism and community and humanitarian, or two out of those three you'll choose, it does mean that you have the ability to think locally as well as globally, but also don't think that any topics are too big or too small, because I've had students in the past that have written their entire journalist store, uh, uh, portfolio sorry, on the issue of monkeys in their area. And it you know, might sound like an absolute trivial topic, but actually they went and interviewed uh, people that are part of the monkey re rehabilitation. They went into a lot of de uh, depth, you know, thinking about what is actually impacting their community. So you need to make sure that you are, you know, just spending a bit of time thinking about what would work in print form and what you think could work in terms of multimedia. And what is included in multimedia is pretty much um, everything that paints a picture and makes a story. So this is going to be a combination of video and audio and um, uh, uh, sound recordings, uh, photos, uh, text, the works. All right, so I want everything included in this. And the idea is that these two stories, while completely separate, should show me your understanding of um, this module overall. So these, um, these different pieces and the different elements that make them up, these all get loaded um, on your website. And it's really interesting because then I get to um, see and interact with your portfolio in a very different way. Okay, so for our next collab, please just spend some time um, going through your, P the, not going through the PRE, sorry, thinking about your different topics, the different um, styles in terms of writing as well as multimedia. And I want you just to spend a bit of time working through it and, you know, just thinking about what you are trying to achieve and, you know, just start thinking of ideas that then I can break down for you. And if you have questions, then I can answer for them for you in our next collab. Okay. So just remember that these two different um, pieces that you're going to be doing are very different in their approach. One is um, going to be, you know, more not necessarily formal, but, you know, it's written, it's the courts that speak, where the other one is going to be all about, um, you know, pe people's actual voices doing the talking and people's, um, you know, the engagement and the visuals and the audio, how all together creates this bigger picture. All right. So that's it from me for tonight, guys. I hope you have a great evening and I'll chat to you soon.